Hi guys, I'm Scout and today I'm here with Rich, Colin, Joseph and Tom who make up Four Screws Loose. So, tell me about it. What are or who are Four Screws Loose? And how did you guys all get together? You're looking very swish. <laughs> yeah, boy, <laughs> what, what are you about? Tell the viewers what you, you are. Uh, well, we're basically uh, a comedy sketch group, an emerging one. Uh, and uh, we've just done our second Edinburgh, which oh, really? uh, which went really well. Started to get discovered by lots of exciting people, lots of TV interest, and nice. things are starting to blossom for the screws. And um, we're hoping to screw a lot of people soon. <laughs> How did you guys come up with the name? Uh, it was a process of like just writing down anything that came into our head for about a week, mm -hmm. and we were like constantly texting each other. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Now that shit, whatever. Um, and then our first name. We were originally yeah, called with Fuggy Bucklings. For about a week. And we were yeah. kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, after a while we decided that's not going to happen. Because it works for being a bit loose and screwing and the phrase you got to screw loose. There's a lot of puns. There's, there's a lot of puns in there. Yeah, no, that's a clever name. I've like like never heard it before. It's distinct. So yeah. did you all know each other for years back or how, how do you all know each other? Uh, What's well, the story there? us three went to uni together, and then we found Joseph, and Some we all street, street, street. Yeah. found him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you got a funny face. Yeah. Oh, I don't see it. Got a really funny laugh. Do you want to do it, Joe? No, I don't do it. In the park. Oh. <laughs> I did do it in the park. I did it in the park the other day, and a goose started like talking to me. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, not Who comes up with most of the concepts, or do you all collaborate together? Is it very much? It's kind of a mixture of different stuff. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, sometimes we write stuff on our own, sometimes like in pairs or whatever. But then everyone, we always kind of come back together as a group um, and like re-edit stuff. And obviously in the rehearsal room as well, like different mm -hmm. stuff kind of. Joseph's being very modest. In <laughs> Richard <laughs> and Joseph do most of the work, yep. and Tom and I swoop in at the end. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, and we'll work out they go about the Add our bits okay. in, and then yeah. take the floor. Yeah. Yeah. George, George, George writes kind of at least joke. one joke for sure. <laughs> 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 it's usually a good joke. Yeah, it's, it's usually, it's usually a good best, the best joke. It's not going around. You take inspiration from practically anything then? or? Yeah, it's weird. Like, you just be doing literally anything and suddenly an idea will kind of pop into your head and you'll be like, that'd be a funny sketch and not necessarily what you're doing at the time, just yeah, random stuff yeah. kind of comes to you. And then sometimes you write in and it's like, nah, shit. And then other times, yeah, it can really work. Are you solely stage or do you do it on the screen as well? Do you, do you film we've, your... We've done, like, we started off just as on stage, um, but we've always wanted to do stuff for TV and mm -hmm. things. Um, but it's recently been filmed by a TV production company and it's starting to kind of hopefully go that way because I think all of our stuff could work really well on telly. Yeah. So. Yes. But we're, we're quite audience, uh, we get involved with the audience, we get in yeah, with them. And like, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. so that's, it's just getting that across to a TV would be yeah, interesting. But, but the sure. fact that we might be on TV soon is quite exciting for me because a lot of the time these guys have been using the excuse that a lot of the sketches that I've written are only really suitable for TV, so they've been omitting them. So yeah, they've been from, saving them for from the shows we've been doing. TV, so hopefully yeah. now if, if we do go on TV, it's... it's, it's uh, my time to shine. <laughs> we should have like written by Conan at the start, just be like, yeah, yeah. just, just kind of a tongue disclaimer. In cheek. <laughs> yeah. Where are you all from originally? Uh, well, these two from the West Country. We're about to do a West Country tour there. Yeah, I'm from Bristol. Yeah, I'm from like the fields. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, love, 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 and what kind of comedians do you look up to and think, oh yeah, I'd love to do a bit of that? Uh, who do you, who, who do the you ultimate do? is obviously Monty Python. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like the best sketch group ever. And uh, I love Little Britain. Uh -huh. And that's, that's a lot of our comedy as well. It's kind of like, us, we're not afraid to dress up as women and be yeah, very yeah. silly. And we've got awful wigs. And <laughs> awful. What kind of colours or what kind of styles? Oh god, it's just no, pretty much yeah, women, yeah. basically. <laughs> awful. The perms and the <laughs> yeah. kind of... Bunched, but they've it? all become like dreadlocks because they are so unwashed and matted with like milk. I, it I sounds imagine. really weird now saying what it is, but there's a lot of milk and things. They're unloved. Yeah, it's in our true. shows. Not the people with dreadlocks. A lot of milk. milk. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of yeah. Yeah. Bodily yeah. fluids. Yeah. Milk. <laughs> yes. You have to see the show. Yeah, it's so yeah. 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 yeah, how was the fringe then? So that was the second time you did it. Yeah. 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 How was it? 
mental. Crazy, yeah. Really then you performed for the whole duration of yeah, the festival? Yeah, yeah. We had our Saturdays off, but yeah, we performed the whole time. Was it pretty gruelling? Yeah, it gets tiring. Mm. Like, as, cause, you know, it's only an hour a day, the show. Obviously, you're doing all the flyering on top yeah. of that. And quite a bit of drinking as well, you know, the whole social yeah, aspect yeah, yeah, to it. So, um, which is, I mean, it's amazing. It's like the best month. But yeah, by the time it gets to the end, you you know, need a holiday. And then we needed a holiday at the end, and then we only got offered a London transfer, so we had to do oh, three weeks. Only oh, oh, yeah. 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 That's amazing. Yeah. You guys are very modest. Um, yeah. Maintain that. That's quality. Yeah. <laughs> yes. well, just acting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just acting. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So obviously yeah. you have an really interest nice in theatre, theatre, because you're doing live shows. Yeah. Um, do you try and get to theatre like London? Do you see plays? Do you see musicals? Do you go to things that are promenade pieces, kind of like what they do at Shut Vaults? I'm up? I'm awful. I hate watching plays. I just get so uh, bored. <laughs> <laughs> and it used to be like a real issue about you uh, when we trained. And like, yeah, oh my God. When we used to go and have to watch plays, but it's, it's, I think it's I want to be doing it myself. Yeah. And I just I just sit there and I'm, I just over criticise or just get bored easily. But musicals love it because it's music and it's your favourite one. <gasps> God, favorite, What's the, your favourite one that's on at the moment? Uh, on at the moment, I'm a sucker for Les Mis. Yeah, absolutely. I cry every time. <laughs> <laughs> My voice even broke when I said that. <laughs> 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 and I'd love to be in it. But like, like that's what we were saying. You know how like Little Britain, like Matt Lucas is now in uh, Late Mids. I'd love to do that. So that kind of he's like a big idol for me because I'd love that kind of career path to be able to pick and choose. I could be a musical now because I'm that famous. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to lose a lot of height and gain a lot of Get weight, weight to uh, shave my hair. Yeah. Come, Matt Lucas. <laughs> How about you, Conan? Do you get to theatre? Um, I do, yeah. I mean, like the quest you, you gave the question of what, what do you like the song at the moment? Or, well, well, well you said, what's your favourite musical? Mm -hmm. I was like, I've got an answer to that, Avenue Q. Ah, it's not which, on. Which, which is amazing, but it's not on in the West yeah. at the moment. So, and again, like, like, like Tom, I love Les Mis and mm -hmm. I like Phantom of the Opera. I kind of like the classics, mm -hmm. really, just because they're the ones that you can really, really properly sing along to. Yeah. Obviously, you guys are starting out, but could you ever see yourselves writing a comic musical? Yes. Oh my yes. god, yes. yes. We yes. uh, we performed to Richard Thomas, who wrote Jerry Springer the Opera. Oh, yeah, and, uh, he, well, I'm, I'm his biggest fan in the world, and he suddenly became our biggest fan, and, we, and he was like, guys, I have to write some music for you. Get and, like, together! Yes! Happen. Okay! We've always kind of said it, like, spam a lot, you know, that is just yeah. a dream oh, for us. We love mm -hmm. our characters. I love when the night and all his arms go up and still like that. So, tell me, was it? Monty Python's our biggest love, and they're, they're, they've got their own. Look how successful that was, you know. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. yeah. I think there's a real market for comic uh, musicals now, especially like Avenue Q and things like that. It's just people love funny and music. It's like yeah. yes, it works brilliantly. Yeah, it but I quite like weird musicals as well. There was that London Road at the National mm -hmm. that was on recently. Me and Joseph saw yeah, that, and it was pretty yeah, bizarre. Yeah. But it was one of the best things I've ever seen. Just. So, did you see it? No, no, my friends are like, you have yeah. to, you have to, but I didn't it's actually. So imagine. original. Because they, they yeah. took all the recordings. Yeah, so. you learned, they learned uh, it, didn't they? Yeah, but yeah. It's um, amazing. And the, the songs that weren't like black like conventional musical theatre songs, mm -hmm. they were singing it as if it was dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to describe, but it was just yeah, so unique and such a different take on like musical theatre. Mm -hmm. It really worked. What's the beauty of being in London? I mean, they really push the boundaries with what they put on, so it's yeah, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love to see you guys on in the West End doing a show. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like to see ourselves on the West End putting on our show. Yeah, we have got That'd quite a lot of music in our show yeah. anyway. Yeah. Like, we've nice. always had people um, saying that's one of the strengths of us because we, you know, we can all sing quite well. And I think we're the boy um, band of comedy, aren't we? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what. Yeah, that's what our agent wants to kind of sell us as. Let's just stand that road. Yeah. So, so you could know. you ever be, see yourself releasing singles? Trying to hit the album. Yeah, yeah. 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 We yeah. are the four screws. <laughs> like the penis song. Become bumpkins. If you could, though, come with any artist in the world, like. So incorporate into your set. So I'm talking. You could have Gaga. You could have Prince. Gaga. You could have the Kings of Leon. Yeah. Like who? who, who, who would... Because she is so like us, she's just yeah, bizarre and loads of different costumes and wigs and stuff. Oh, I'd, I'd love to be Beyonce's back dancer. Oh, <laughs> God, she's just gay. Who's the loudest that for you for? Who causes the most trouble? This is amazing because we <laughs> had <laughs> dinner <laughs> just before we came here, and um, and I said, I said, oh, okay, so like we're having this interview later. What happens if when we're, we're like asked the question, is it like? Who's the one to look out for? 
And they were like, what? That's not, that's a what different, kind of, that's no, not what no, you no, asked. No, 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 and then you went like, and then you that's, went, that's as in like, as in like, right. which one causes the trouble? No, you that's know, not what you said, you're like, like, you're like, it's what I think that kind of answer my question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, it's not me. Causing trouble right now. Yeah. It's very awkward now. The red screw. Yeah. Red danger. I love it already, I can see you guys are hilarious, I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's hilarious from the outside, I just get picked on. <laughs> Who's the oldest? This one! <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're so the you're daddy. Really Granddad Joseph. Granddad. Joseph. Granddad. Who's the youngest? Baby. We were Thanks. saying, if we were the Spice Girls. And are you the tallest? Spice yeah, yeah, baby yeah, Spice Girls. Yeah, 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 the Spice Girls yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, so Baby Screw, Was that Ginger Screw, Yeah, beard. Posh Screw, and Sporty Screw. And then we didn't have a scary screen. You're all scary. Maybe you can be scary. Can be scary. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Done. Yeah. Sweet. Well, well, thank you so much for coming in and speaking with us, guys. I loved it. It's been really good. Four screws loose. Keep your eyes peeled because we're going to take over. Yeah, we are. Top, Joseph, Conan, Rich. Yes. <laughs>